I'm Peter de Stabler. I'm an assistant curator here at the Institute for the Study of the Ancient World. And we're here today to talk about our new installation called Echoes of the Past, the Buddhist cave temples of Shantangshan. This is a Buddhist cave temple complex in northern China that dates to the 6th century AD. The dynasty that built it is called the Northern Qi Dynasty, and they reigned quite briefly from about 550 to 577 uh, uh, CE. The largest and earliest of the caves built at the temple site is called the North Cave in a group of caves called the, the Northern Group of Caves. It's uh, the largest by about, uh, by about uh, two times. It's, it's significantly larger than any of the rest. Uh, all of the sculptures in the exhibition are from museums in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, th this Buddha statue is from the Victorian Albert in, in London, and there's also another large Buddha head from there. Others of the sculptures are from the University of Pennsylvania Museum, from the Asian Arts Museum in San Francisco, from the Nelson Atkins Museum in Kansas City, and from the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. And this is the head of a Bodhisattva figure that's in the collection of the Morgan Library that was known in the 1920s and is included in a publication about ancient Chinese sculpture. But then it was uh, forgotten about to a degree because it wasn't on display at the Morgan and has only recently been rediscovered, as it were, in their, in their, their vault. And it's on display now for the first time with other sculptures from the same complex. In addition to the serene figures of Buddhist deities, disciples, different Buddhas, different bodhisattvas. There's also uh, a large amount of decorative carving of flame, sort of flame type patterns and lotuses and scroll work. And then also a number of these monster figures. In, in Chinese folk religion, monsters or demons or, or bad figures, ugly bad figures, uh, can often bring disease or mistrust or bad events. And so these monster figures are integrated into the overall scheme of the North Cave, but in a very subservient way. So this figure, his knees on the floor, his foot bent upward, his hands on his hips, he's shouldering the weight of this divine architecture. Something that's special about uh, sculpture in this period, this Northern Qi period of sculpture, is that the sculptures become much more, uh, much more in flesh. They're much more lifelike, that they're the, the, the decoration on them is much more 3D. The bodies underneath the clothing are much more three-dimensional. The, the second component of the exhibition here at ISAW, the one gallery full of sculptures, is this video installation uh, called The Digital Cave, which is a, a 3D video installation that, that uh, depicts the interior of one of the, the open plan caves at northern Shantangshan. This, this cave has the nickname, it has a couple nicknames. One is, is the Cave of a Thousand Buddhas, since there are little Buddhas all up over the ceiling. And then it's also called the Cave of the Engraved Sutras because it has uh, uh, the, the rubbings that we looked at in the other gallery mm -hmm. are from inside of, of this cave, the South Cave at Northern Shantangshan. One of the big projects of the team that, that did all this work and put it together was to document as many as possible of the dispersed sculptures from the site and to find the exact original display locations of those pieces. They made scans of all of the dispersed objects and then made scans also of the interiors of the cave and then used the cave and the scanned, <coughs> the scanned interiors and the scanned fragments as puzzle pieces and put them together as, as best as possible. Each cave altar has a symmetrical arrangement with a Buddha at the center and then a variety of, of attendant figures to either side.